Welcome to Cry Havoc Wargaming, dedicated to bringing you the uncommon. For those of you who haven't met me, my name is Ron. Today we're going to do an after-action report on Studio Tomahawk's game Congo on the Jewel of Africa adventure. So let's get started. So today, uh, myself and my friend Kerry, we're going to do a, a run-through, a play of the game Congo, the Jewel of Africa adventure. This is an a adventure using the Zanzibaris and the kingdoms of Africa, in my case, my Nagoni, where the uh, slavers, the Zanzibaris, have taken the princess of the kingdom, and the kingdom is endeavoring to try to save her. So um, let's go to the gaming table. Today, let us tell the story of Princess Ekoane, daughter of Chief Ukwatutu, chiefdom of Daruma, also known as the Jewel of Africa, who was kidnapped by slavers. She was forced to join one of their columns, making a forced march through the savanna, carrying their plunder of ivory, gold, and silver. The Zanzibaris used their newly acquired slaves as bears. However, the princess was much better treated than the others. Mad with anger, her father sent a troop of warriors after the caravan to rescue his daughter and punish those who dared flout his authority. That's the basic setup for today's game. The rules for the adventure, it's going to be in Savannah. It is dense cover. Uh, there will be an independent character, that being the Jewel of Africa or the princess herself. The, uh, there is a wild animal, this being Savannah, that will be a lion. Uh, there is exiting the table and entering the table. The map consists of um, a track straight across the middle of the board. It is marked in two places uh, at points uh, uh, A and B. Uh, the Zanzibari have to stay on the track for their first turn until they get uh, at least past that uh, first marker. They also cannot play the initiative three card in their first turn. The, after that, they can, they've got a little bit more freedom to move around. Their goal being to get across the tabletop. That is one of the protagonists, of course, of the Zanzibaris, the perfidious kidnappers, it's called in this game. They are required to take uh, the traitor, who is uh, Iban Kazub, and in this case, they are also bringing the, um, a slaver. Uh, both parties are about, uh, uh, what was it, 82, 82 points. The, uh, the other side, the rescue party, are my Nagoni. Uh, they are including the king and uh, a witch doctor, so we'll play with those roles for the first time. Uh, their job is, of course, to stop them. Now, this game has a number of special rules but beyond the ones I first mentioned in the normal uh, rules for the adventure list. Uh, the deployment, the Zanzibaris will begin at the table edge at what is called point A. The confusing thing about this game is they use three different points called point A. Um, but they will begin at point A here. Their job is to exit the other side of the table there. Uh, the more interesting deployment falls to my Nagoni, the African kingdoms. They have to roll to get onto the table. What dice they roll will change by how far the, the uh, slavers have moved across the table, table uh, increasing their ability to, to roll successes. And the dice will also tell where, what quarter on the long side of the table they will enter from. Until action begins, until either a uh, African kingdom uh, troop enters the track or enters into fighting, either shoots or enters into melee, or if a, a magic spell or a ritual is done, or if uh, decided, unless those things happen, the, um, the troops will be considered out of line of sight, the Nagoni. They're crawling in the high grasses. They are limited to a short move because of that. They cannot double the pace without giving away their position, but until then, they are out of line of sight and to get closer to the road. When the slaves are shot, their special rules, we have to roll for that too to determine uh, whether it is a slave or one of the normal soldiers. The reason for that is the victory points for this game include not only the princess herself, but uh, the slavers are trying to get their slaves off the table. The uh, Nago and I are trying to stop that from happening. Uh, so those will affect the end result of the game. So let's go ahead.
So at the end of turn one, uh, people have started to come onto the table. The Zanzibaris have come down the center of the road there. They have passed the uh, first point A, which means they no longer have to stay on the road. Uh, I have failed most of my roles to bring anybody on, but I do have the elite warriors coming in with the um, witch doctor uh, coming in over there. I have the, um, the married warriors and my... Uh, and my young warriors. The young warriors have been attacked with a terror and they have received a stress roll, a stress marker of a combat. So that ends our turn one. We go into taking our totem cards for turn two. Wow, so turn two saw a little bit more action. Uh, people coming up further up the road. We had a charge from the, um, the uh, unmarried, the, uh, uh, the young warriors. They were beat by two and fell back, took stress. Uh, the um, the uh, elites with their wizard uh, did a, a spell, uh, a ritual. It failed, a uh, bloody hand. And not only did it fail, but he got a red panic marker. So that uh, medicine man was struck down, uh, was killed. And, uh, and now we go on to turn three. So uh, that's the end of turn three. A lot of activity. The, um, 
The uh, Baluki sharpshooters fired into my fanatical warriors and killed uh, two of them, half the unit. The married warriors shot into the Baluki and rolled really well and took out large numbers of them, uh, the regular Baluki. Uh, and uh, nobody's moved forward. Uh, the, a lion has appeared. There is a lion on the table now. Uh, and so we go to turn four. So there you have it. The perfidious slavers have escaped with the princess. The Nagoni have failed to save her. She's been taken off the board, and it is an overwhelming victory to the uh, Zanzibari. If you've enjoyed this video or have any comments you'd like to add or have played the game and have like to talk about that, uh, go ahead and let us know in the comments down below. Uh, if you've found value in this, please uh, like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Until next time. Cheers.